In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for the element GA. This is gallium. So first off, there are two ways we could do this. One is we could look at the periodic table. So here is the periodic table, and it shows us the valence electrons for these main group elements here. So group one has one valence electron, two for group two, we go three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to eight. So gallium right here, gallium's in group 13, sometimes called 3A. Gallium has three valence electrons. So we can just put those valence electrons on the outside here. And this is the Lewis structure for gallium. When gallium forms bonds with other atoms, it'll lose these three electrons. It'll become Ga3+. It's lost three negative charges. Let's take a look at that. So gallium bonds with another element, say chlorine or fluorine, loses these three electrons. So it lost the three electrons. Those electrons, they're negative. So now it becomes three plus. We should put brackets around it to show that it's an ion. So this would be the Lewis structure of the gallium ion, Ga3+. There's one more way we could figure out the Lewis structure for Ga, for gallium. If we look at the condensed electron configuration here for gallium, we'll see that these electrons here outside this noble gas core, we consider these to be the valence electrons. But this 3D, it has 10 electrons in it. That's very stable, so this won't be involved in bonding. These three electrons here, the 4S2, 4P1, they form the chemical bonds. So if we had our electron configuration for just gallium, Ga, we'd have three electrons around it, three valence electrons. And that would be the Lewis structure for gallium. If we had the ion Ga3+, we'd lose these three here, and then we would write 4s0, 4p0. So this would be the electron configuration for the gallium ion Ga3+. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for gallium and the gallium ion. Thanks for watching.